So then he said, the Shaykh said, this Quran, so explaining, first explaining what is the Quran, and then explaining the virtue of the Quran. So he said, this Quran has tremendous virtues. It has overall virtues, meaning virtues that refer to the whole of it, and virtues with regard to certain ayahs and specific surahs. For example, Al-Fatiha is the seven oft-repeated ayahs. And it is Umm Al-Kitab, the foundation of the book. In two virtues there of Surah Al-Fatiha. That it is the seven, referred to as the seven oft-repeated ayahs. And that it is Umm Al-Kitab, the foundation of the book. Then he said, and Ayat Al-Kursi, the ayah of the throne, Surah meaning to ayah 255 of Surah Al-Baqarah is the greatest ayah in the book of Allah and so on and so on. So there are ayahs and surahs which have specific virtues. And as for the Quran overall, then it has overall virtues. I mean, the Quran itself has tremendous virtue overall. And then there are specific surahs and specific ayahs which have individual particular virtues. Then he mentions the result of this. He said, And this necessitates that we should be keen and eager to the limit of keenness upon reciting the book of Allah, the mighty and majestic, night and day. Because a person... If he recites the book of Allah, if he rather he said, if he recites the, the speech of Allah, then for every letter he will receive ten rewards. A single letter from a word, for it he will receive ten rewards. So, for example, qul, the part of the ayah, qul, with the explanation, say, qul. Sheikh said, this produces 20 rewards. Just if you recite from the Book of Allah, Book of Allah, as part of an ayah, قُلْ Then this produces 20 rewards. Because it is two letters, a qaf and a lam. قُلْ You get 20 rewards for saying that, as part, part of an ayah. Then he said, أَعُوذُ Whenever you recite as part of an ayah, أَعُوذُ I seek, with the explanation, I seek refuge. Then this is four letters in the ayin, the Hamza and the Ain and the Wow and the Dal. This is four letters. It produces forty rewards. Meaning a tremendous reward. I mean what is meant by Hasana, a reward? It means a tremendous amount of reward, which a person cannot imagine. So when he recites this mighty, tremendous book, which is such that لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه تنزيل من حكيم حميد سورة الصلاة the 41st surah ayah 42 with the explanation this Quran falsehood cannot approach it from in front nor from behind it is revelation sent down from the all wise the one deserving of all praise